Hey guys, this is Debbie with Rowdy Apps, and today I'm going to show you a quick way, just a few tips on how to play the game to, to do better. First of all, if you see that help down in the bottom right hand score, if you'll, uh, in the area I mean rather, click on that and you can scroll in there and it'll show you more information about the treats and balls and other items, checkpoints and stuff like that, and the things like you probably never have really thought to go look for. Well, that's where it's at. It's in that help area. Also, if you'll click on the, the where it says uh, Games, Themes, and Settings, if you're in the full version, you'll see that um, if you click on Character, there are three different characters. There's Sophie, Dewey, and Max. And in the center there, there's also a theme area. There's two different lands. One's regular, and one's kind of a Halloween Mardi Gras kind of theme. And over on the uh, right hand side there's that tilt speed. Click on that and you can actually change how your tilt works. And it's just truly up to you. Underneath the theme you'll see there's the uh, sound and the music and you can turn those on and off if you want to. Uh, and underneath that where it says difficulty, if you'll touch that you have three choices. Uh, easy, medium, and hard. So it's simply up to you. You know, however you want to play. So once you've done all that, you can click on menu again and it'll take you back to the main game screen. And uh, if you'll uh, click on where it says high scores and achievements, you can also share your scores with Open Faint. So that's what that's all about. And you can look on there and you can see how other people have done and stuff like that. So it's all up to you. And it'll kind of show what some of the other players have done. So. Okay. And uh, so now, let's actually play it, and there's going to be a lot of dying going on as we show you some, uh, some things you may not know you can possibly do in the game. So uh, let's, let's go through it. So we're going to hit play. First of all, you can make your character go all the way from one side of the screen to the other and come back around if you want to. So that's kind of a fun thing maybe most people may not know about. So we'll just watch how it goes. See, did you see that? And that's one good way to get extra points if you're in a tight spot. It's also a good way to get killed. <laughs> so uh, also, if you want to get your score up, the best way to do it is to pick up the items several in a row. Now, if you see up in that top left-hand score, there'll be a, uh, a black box that comes up. Do you see it where it says combo? That ups your score every time you pick up an item if you pick up several in a row. So the more you can pick up, the better your combo score will be and uh, the higher you'll, you'll do. So right now we're going to change back to, uh, oh okay, well maybe Oops. not this time. So right now we're in the Halloween world or the Mardi Gras land and each of the characters has kind of a little costume on so they're dressed differently than they are in the other version so it's kind of fun. Uh, so one of them is dressed up as a witch and one of them is kind of like some, some workout video and it, it's kind of cute but anyway. Uh, if you go back to the other land, the regular world, then they're just wearing regular doggy outfits. Okay, so now, and if you go far enough, you can also get 3,000 points just for getting past the checkpoint, which looks kind of like one of those um, uh, rock uh, walkways or something like that. You'll see it in a, in a few minutes, hopefully. Uh, once you get past that, you get an extra 3,000 points, too. So that's another reason to want to go as far as you can in the game. Uh, so that's a nice bonus to appear on top of your, you know, your regular score. So, you know, pick up all the uh, dog biscuits and cookies and treats and bosses you can in a row to up your score. Try not to get killed. And uh, also avoid those mud puddles. Avoid the critters. <laughs> avoid the dog catcher. And uh, go far enough, and eventually you come to that checkpoint and you'll get that 3,000 extra points. And if you play long enough, you can actually get up to the point where you'll get uh, some extra abilities. I think it's like 10,000, 20,000, 30, and 50, or something like that. Uh, we'd have to check to make sure. But anyway, you get enough of those points, you get some extra things that you can pick up that give you other abilities that you can use in the game to get an even higher score and to outdo the evil critters that are after you and the dog catcher and, and all of that. We'll tap on the pause screen in just a minute and let you see kind of what that's all about. There's the checkpoint. So you pass that automatically, you get 3,000 extra points. 
All right. So uh, start it up and play it one more time and hit the hit the pause screen so they can see that. So if you'll tap it, if you touch the screen while the game's playing, you see this pause screen, and then that shows you some of the extra things that you can unlock based on, you know, really high scores like 10,000, 20, 50, and 70. And I think invincibility, invincibility, and two or three other things are, are the choices that, that of the things that you get once you get those high scores that you, when you unlock them in the game. So anyway, uh, if you go back to the regular game, one more time, just tap the screen and then you get that pause screen. That's all you have to do while you're playing. So hope this helps you out. Just wanted to give everybody some extra tips on how to play the game and to do as high as they can. And if you will, when you finally complete the game, we'll show you one last time when we get killed in just a minute. Uh, you can also share your scores on Facebook once you set it up in, uh, in the app and it only takes a you know, couple of seconds. Then when you play, you can also share your scores on Facebook to show how well you're doing and you know, kind of brag to your friends. And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute. There you go. So it passed the, the uh, checkpoint again, so that's 3,000 extra points. And all you need to do, just remember, if you can just kind of tilt your device from left to right, that's how you actually guide them through the, uh, and you see how fast that was? We're already signed up for the Facebook thing. We've already set it, so that's about how quick it does. So you just tap that, and it automatically puts it up on your Facebook page. So anyway, so this is Dog Chase. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial, and if we can uh, help you with anything else, just send us an email. Thanks a lot.